to the gym. Who the problem? Tell them call me on the fix. Don't you try me, promise that it won't do this. I ain't worried, I ain't bothered cause I'm lit. You can't look me in my eyes, just keep the fit. See, no, you won't, no. Don't man, expand your jaw flow. No one is safe for now, no. Like what you saying? I blow up, I don't mind. I'm trying to call me a mansion palace for my family. I call it a dominant expansion. Sit at the top where I'm planted. They hate I'm not greatest, but that's just the fate I've been handed. Like, wait, why is he yelling my veins? Part of my heritage, greatness was in my inheritance. Look, I was born to be great. It was who that was taking my place. I don't mean to be vain. Really, you think I'm insane? Good evening, YouTube. I am your host, the King Shadow. Back for another No Excuse Reaction. Now, got another compilation. Now, this one I got off of MCR. Told you that boy got a pipeline killing it. I'm working on my pipeline now. Yes, the Instagram page is up. I just ain't put much stuff up there other than my elbow. So, you can look for my Instagram, slide in DM, send me stuff, and all that stuff. Uh, the TikTok page will be up soon, and I will do a live soon. So, that's coming. That is coming. And so, I want to say the topic of today would be fuckery. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be. This is another compilation of the fuckery. Okay, and it's coming from both sides. Okay, but this is not like super relationship one. But this is just some fuckery that's out there. You know, he threw a compilation together that was pretty interesting. And I gotta talk about it. You know me, I just like to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So, with no further ado, like MCR say, let's get up in this video. All the bills, even from day one. I like this. Men should pay all the bills, even from day one. I like this. <laughs> day one. You have to remember what type of presentation are you presenting to a woman, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, I'm this dude that wants you to come in this situation and you do you and I do me. What's the point of being with somebody? Okay. You should do this on literally on date number one, right? Cool. Oh, you got a car now. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. This and that. On Have your own one. before you start dating. That way when you meet a young lady, it's immediately like, hey, I'm gonna take care of this, 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 oh this. God. It's not you being paymaster. It's you saying, you're with me, you are with me. You're not with him no more. Now imagine if you take over and you say, look, I got this, this, and this. That lets that woman know that you are not playing any games and you are sure. serious about getting it with her. Oh my God. Fuck no. All the guys that are looking at this right now, don't, don't fucking pay attention to that shit at all. Oh hell no. I know girl, that girl that did, I like this. <laughs> Of course you do, bitch. He is being faulty right now as fuck. <laughs> okay? Even the other nigga like, hmm. <laughs> he had to shake his head on that one. Mm. <laughs> nigga, fuck no. With the recipe, that sucker nigga right there telling you, you feel me? That's an easy way to get played. Okay. First things first, take the monetary out. Period. Okay? If that bitch is there for your money, then she shouldn't be there. Okay? Take the monetary out. I keep telling people about that. You feel me? I'm going to keep repeating this shit in my shit until they stick. You feel me? I'm just saying. Take the money and the sex out. Why are you here? You can't give me a conversation. You don't give me no kind of comfort. You feel me? You don't feed me. You don't, like, you know what I mean? massage me or nothing like that you know what I mean but I can do all extra shit for you but you don't bring the woman to me okay and I I, I say time time again pussy pussy and there's a lot of it up there okay the market is flooded okay so understand girls what's between your legs is not as expensive as you think Cause you may have a hundred thousand dollar ticket on your your push. <laughs> but guaranteed there's one out there for twenty dollars. And it's probably better than yours. 
Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause, cause he, he's a perfect example of those sucker niggas that be saying that when he was coming up, he had no gang, no swag. And you see, he, he comes sick, so you know he was a chubby kid. You feel me? No gang, no swag, unhealthy as fuck. But then when he got some bread, that's how he got him some bitches. You feel me? Hey, I will pay you this, I will give you this, and I will give you this. You my girl now, you don't have to mess with them. So you automatically went to a hoe. <laughs> Cause hey, excuse me. When I first approached a girl, you feel me? There's no them in my mind. You feel me? There's just me and her. Okay. Now, if we go on a date and stuff, and then I get that ankle that there's them in the background. That's when shit changed. But see, understand? I didn't cast the fuck out before I found out her. You feel me? You need to find out who she is, what she's doing, how she's acting. You feel me? You need to find out who she around, who she with. Okay? Where she living, what she's up to. You know what I mean? She needs to be showing that she's a functional bitch first. Okay? You can show you a functional nigga and got go all you fucking want. Doesn't mean you're gonna pick a get a functional bitch. You feel me? Now, if you want to cash off a pussy, go ahead and cash off a pussy. You feel me? There's hoes everywhere and you can trick it off. Okay? Go on ahead and do that. But no satisfaction comes out of it other than busting a nut and losing your ducats. Okay? Straight up. So, if you want to run with his method, understand. There's a quick way to go poor and have hurt feelings, okay? <laughs> Don't do that, Hell no! Let's go next. Most is paying half the rent. Cause even some ladies say, no, I agree. I suppose it's split half the rent. That's because you never met a real man, boo boo. Oh God. Yes. If you would have met a real man, who would never let you pay all the bills or even half the oh, bills. Oh God. Men should pay all the bills. Okay, I think that that's it. Okay, I'm gonna have to tag it one more time. One more time, one more time. A real man, yes. When you're in a relationship, a real man will take care of you. Pay all the bills, provide for you. Especially if they get the money right there, okay? But that's after you done put in on the contract. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's after you devoted yourself to this man. That's after you show your permanent loyalty to this dude. You feel me? Then, hey, I got you. You are covered. That's what it fucking means. You be a wife, you get covered. <laughs> you be the other. Let's go. What's up, baby? You ready to go? Let me rearrange things real quick. Hold on. Oh, look, baby, got a car condo. She living out there. The whole car trunk. Everything she own in here, this is a storage unit. Where is your house, little baby? Who put you out, big bro? She should have told me she was going to be moving today from the front seat to the back seat. Ooh. Oh, she Damn. homeless. Not the she microwave. She on four wheels and in four doors. That's a mobile home, big bro. I know she said she got it out the mud. I ain't know she was talking about the mud, mud. She Aha, Davis. Now, that boy funny. To the extent, he, but he got funny scenarios. That boy funny as fuck. Okay, I give him that. He funny. You feel me? He ain't up in the full Hollywood stretch yet, but he funny. Okay. Quick, just real quick. Yo, show me thick. You feel me? Fuck all that shit. He talking about her pulling all that shit out the car. Bitch can have a full fucking car. Be living in the car and shit, looking thick and nice like that. Oh, you still gonna hit, nigga? Just not in that car. This nigga still gonna go for it. <laughs> That's not a deterrent. I'm just saying, we know you want hard times when that shit happens. <laughs> this nigga's stupid. Okay, let's keep going. Four wheels and then four doors. That's a mobile home, big bro. I know she said she got it out the mud. I ain't know she was talking about the mud, mud. She living her life on the edge. That's the garage shed, big bro. Oh, this is where this journey ends. I'm not finna keep watching you clean out no warehouse. Baby, she just she... live out of her car and listen to music. This is a studio apartment. She running a car care. I'm calling Child Protective Services. Oh, hell no. I'm just gonna take over. I'm gonna meet you over there. Wait. 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 Yo, shout out to Ha Ha Davis. The caption that he put here is when pretty girls get into your car. And here. That was a reverse, you know when you get into a pretty girl's car. But 
the title was a reverse oxymoron okay to this kid but still damn okay hold on microwave <laughs> Did you see a Golden Globe? Like, like was that an MTV award tossed in the back? Bitch, who are you singing with? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Damn. <coughs> then she pulled the car seat and the little homie. That one right there hurt a nigga right there. Like, ooh, no. Not the car seat and the little nigga that was crammed up in there, too. That helmet was probably on a little nigga because that car seat wasn't clipped in. <laughs> So that helmet was on his head before he'd be good and snug. Like, you good? Hey. Mama drive like a bat out of hell. Goddamn. Oh shit. But you know, there is some some girls out there that, that be in their cars like that. Hey. It was a point in time when I was in my car like that, you feel me? And hard times is hard times. You run through it and you go through it, you feel me? That's, that's what it is. But, God damn, that was a lot of shit. <laughs> Swear to God, if she would have popped out with a hookah, I'm dead. <laughs> Next clip. Turn it down. Good. Oh, God. When culture and non culture meet. Okay. <laughs> hey. That thought has the pussy out and everything. That's the new coochie dance. Everybody's seeing the coochie right now. <laughs> but when she said that, did you see the disgust? On the lady in the back face, she instantly stops like, you know, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> and sat her ass down. <laughs> okay? Then she tried to show her how to fucking twerk. You fucking whore. <laughs> hey, dude in the back got a good show. He started like, hey, that is a pussy clapping. <laughs> she was not doing it. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> You feel me? Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. She got more respect for herself than you do, girl. That's why you sitting there half naked. <laughs> Bouncing your butt like a dog in the heat. Man, come on, man. Cut that shit out, man. You lost them right there. Like, you feel me? You know, that, that, that. It doesn't mingle. It doesn't fucking mingle from people who have some goddamn common sense and respect for their goddamn selves and some morals to... Whatever the fuck she was doing. <laughs> that thought around me right there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They don't like it. No, you can go away now. You go away, you feel me? They were trying to teach you something, give you some fucking class. And you think you're going to teach them something, bitch? No, you can't teach them shit. You ain't got shit to teach. <laughs> That shit you did is supposed to be behind closed doors with your husband dick in your booty. That shit right there was supposed to be behind closed doors with your husband dick in your booty. Oh, boyfriend, or whoever the fuck. But behind fucking closed doors. No, but you a strip club hoe. And you just do that shit on the street. In a Starbucks. And expect them to do the same. No. No. <laughs> Respectful women will not do that shit in the fucking street. They will not fuck with you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Take clip. Ah, oh, man. This foolishness. My ass has been the topic of conversation. My ass has been in magazines. Rihanna gave my ass a standing ovation. <laughs> my booty. My least favorite part of my body. How did this happen? It's working. Oh. <laughs> Through the movement of twerking, I discovered my ass is my greatest asset. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ted Twerk. <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Okay, so that was Lizzo on TED Talk. Okay. This is where it becomes a problem to me. You feel me? <clears throat> I'm very fucking proud. Okay. Lizzo is sloppy fat for me. Like, like that shit does not look good. You twerking, bitch. That's fucking that. I almost threw up in my mouth when you just did that one clap. <laughs> just like right there. Like, <laughs> bitch, that is not cute at all. Okay. If you have self-confidence issues, the self-confidence issue is that you're huge and nobody likes huge bitches like that. Okay? You're unhealthy. And you're a loud mouth. Disrespectful. <laughs> you are all the negative shit. The only reason you are famous right now because there is a lot of girls like you and they're relating to you. Okay? That's how a lot of stars get they pop up you feel me the relatable scenario okay but when that scenario falls fucking apart your career will fall apart if you don't maneuver to utilize your voice better instead of trying to exploit whatever the fuck you want to call that you know what i'm saying no i'm not body shaming but it's unfucking healthy okay let me put it this way. There's BBWs. And it's blowing the fucking scenes. Okay? Lizzo is like three Big Macs from blowing the fucking scenes. You feel me? She's not tight. Okay? Now, there's some big girls that still got fucking form. Okay? There's big girls that just big because that's their natural body type. But they still got form. They're not messy. They're not unhealthy. Because they are on their body type. You are not your body type. I can tell this just on the way your body is and out. You have blue seams on some of your body already. Okay? Health, people. It's a big fucking thing here. It's a big fucking problem. Your health is everything it's paramount this is why we don't live as long as we're supposed to you feel me the oldest person died at like 110 hey humans used to go for 500 years do you want to explain <laughs> the greed the, the poison in yourself the toxicity full toxicity okay there's a lot of things that we had done in the past for health and rejuvenation. We done forgot because that shit was either burnt up or lost the lessons. Or or it wasn't conducive for money to have a kid. Okay? So, if you want to pay attention to motherfuckers who want money and not pay attention to the shit that's going to heal you and, and fix you, then fine. Do that. Well, stop trying to push that narrative to everybody else. This is retarded. Stop it. Yeah, stop it. Nobody wants to see that ass clap. Okay, you did it on IG. Uh, no. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. That's why it was controversial. People was disgusted. <laughs> not, it's a good thing. It's not a good thing, okay? <sighs> Help. It's like a pet peeve right now because you see more people unhealthy, you feel me? That bitch probably battling diabetes right now. <laughs> oh, we gotta go to her phone. Oh, you got a Snapchat? Yeah, she got Snapchat. Not, really. not really. Can we go to her phone? For what? It's, yeah. for, it's for the interview. Come on, do you want to do the thing or not? Do you not want to play the game? I gotta go. So you don't want to play the game? What, what's the game? Tell me what the game is. You gotta check your phone and see if you're faithful. Right. We are like 40 years old. What? That's, that's exactly why she don't want As if 40 year olds can't cheat. What wanna do? You see what's going on right now? She acting weird. Is that, huh? She's acting really weird right now. Cause he don't have no social media. So that's why well, it's one-sided. One <laughs> nah, he gonna use everything that he can show you. And you have something that you, Right. Y'all both have something y'all can show each other. He got messages. You don't right. got social media. You got right. social media. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Oh my god, this is like really weird. <laughs> Man, it's weird because you don't want to show me, right? Exactly, right? Okay, so you want to do something? No, we gotta do something like 
the same. No, no, it doesn't. He don't have social media. No, you, media, but so. you're active on social. She's active on social media. Exactly. Not really. Yeah. Well, let me see. So then let him see. We gotta do something that's the same. It's gotta, like it. it's gotta be even. It's gotta be even. It's gonna be. It's already. If she was a transformer, her name would be Deflecticon. Let's proceed. Okay, so it's already been okay, so you do messages. No, he, he, don't, he don't have nothing he though. Hold your phone. He don't have no, no, nothing no, though. What does that matter? I I need to be on the same thing that she's doing, right? So, That's so what I'm saying. Like, so it's got to be even because he don't have social media. It's going to be even. Since he don't have social media, we're going to go check his, his messages. That's, That's even. That's all we can check, right? Right. And then when you have some, we can check as well. So it's going to be both parties. Which is her then. social media. Right? Yeah. That's because she, she you, you, come, you communicate through social media. I it's communicate really. through messages. I'm like 40. Well, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> But it's got, it's not no, even. No, no. It is even. It's I, not even though. Listen, listen this it's is gotta be even. Listen, this. She definitely regrets going to the store today. <laughs> the reason why it's even, I communicate via messages. Yeah. She okay, communicates so via something. social media. I, com I, my, I, com yeah. I communicate you through your phone. But you also communicate more so via social media. But it's still not even. That's, that's what makes it even. What's the, what's, the most, what's the most way that you communicate no, via social even. media? I like the most way I communicate. The most way I communicate. She's that means you're on the for messing up your interview. Because clearly... Y'all think so? It's got to be even, right? It's, it's all even, what, this, what is oh, even? God. Think about this. What is even? Whatever you do the most... Facts. Which is I miss Logically. Yeah. She social media the most. So no, I, I don't. Look at social media. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. That's what makes it even. You if no, and then use that. So I can hide it, so. You don't do messages. What? That's like low for you. That's like low key for you. How many no, unread messages not. you got right now? On your phone. Look at all this. That ain't been read. 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 This is going all the way back because she don't even read messages because she don't care about messages. Let's go through social media. Let's go through social media. It's not even. Exactly. That's what I thought. You see that, right? It's not even. It's not even. I'm giving you my best I got to offer. It's not even. Come on, man. Leave her. You hide this up. No, I'm not. It's not even. It's no doubt in my mind she's hiding something. Hiding what? I don't know. The husband. I let that one play all the way through all three. Where you can see the whole thing. <laughs> you hear MTR in the back. If she was a <laughs> transformer, she would be a deflector card. Cause that bitch was trying to play everything they were saying. I'm like, no, you're not seeing my social media. That's exactly what she's trying to say. Hey, let me get this out to you people right now, okay? A lie by a omission, okay? Just the fact that you want to withhold and not show means you're doing something. You told on yourself already that you're cheating on your husband okay oh just because he didn't see it no just on the fact that you didn't want to show him and was adamant about not showing him means that you were doing something you shouldn't be doing <laughs> because this is this is basically basic psychology okay basic psychology old version of the truth okay so she tries to overt the ass divert the ass to her messages which she doesn't fucking use which he points out barely read them shits okay she don't fucking use her messages she's an older lady trying to get in the thought of rodham again all on social media being a thought talking to motherfuckers implying things to motherfuckers you feel me getting all that woo woo rah rah from other motherfuckers and getting all that 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 validation from other motherfuckers which would eventually end up into her cheating yes it will eventually end up in you cheating because your mind is elsewhere you're not at home okay real wives they're not on social media unless that's their business okay and if they're on social media they on there looking at other people's shit okay I'm trying to tell you, like, the, the basics to this shit. It's simple psychology, okay? It's easy to spot a lie because nobody's an FBI agent out here, okay? Nobody's trying to do this shit. So I'm trying to tell you. Easy tips. The fact that she wanted to avert. You know, she changed and planning on it. If you would have saw that long-ass paragraph she left to Tyrone last night. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I missed that big dirt. <laughs> You know that's exactly what's on there, and she don't want him to see that shit. Mm -mm, mm -mm, see that marriage over? She lost her whole life. She knows what it is. 
I'm sure the finish that shit to the tape. But he already he already caught the win. He already knows what that relationship fucked up already. <laughs> He, he already had an angle before the kid came up, so shit! <laughs> you already know they have problems. So, damn. It was an interesting compilation. Please do like and subscribe. Share me out like COVID. Hey, you ninja watchers, hit the subscribe button. Hit it! It's right there. Like this. Right there. That's my name. Hit that shit. Hit <laughs> <Get> it. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let it